Well, we made it to the Astoria Warrington KOA. And this place was like no other KOA we've ever stayed at. It was a KOA resort. And so just coming into the place, there were like three lanes of incoming. And they had guys directing the traffic. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. So many people coming in. They have over 400 people come in and out of there on a daily basis. But it was quite a campsite. I mean, they had pool area. They had bounce pad. They had cabins. They had bikes. They had life-size chess and checkers. They had just so many sites, campsites to choose from and cabins. Of course, some of the sites are pulled through, some of them are not. We took one of the cheaper back-end sites because we just needed it for one night. We didn't care if it was a fancy site, so we just did a back-end site and it was fine. But it was quite a nice campground. A little bit pricey for the resort area, but very, very nice. And then we arrived today at the Thousand Trails Seaside. We pulled in there and found our campsite, beautiful site, beautiful place. We love it. We noticed since the last time we were here three years ago, they have renovated the bathrooms. I mean, just the men's bathroom that I looked at was great brand new, all fixed up, and it's just a beautiful campsite. They have two sides to it. So when you come in, you can go in on the left, and you go down a long corridor where there's trees, and they have a pool over there, tennis courts. The sites over there are closer together, so we chose to come in. We go to the right, and the site that we had, if is a little bit more spacious and very beautiful and we love it of course the ones that are closer to the ocean are at a premium they have usually smaller spaces because you're near a great location near the ocean near the beach but this site is a great one and we were very happy with it very pleased and happy so we got all set up and ready to go yeah I am enjoying being here at the Seaside Thousand Trails campground. One of the reasons I enjoy this campground is, right now at least, there is sunshine. The mornings are cloudy and overcast, but usually by sometimes 12, if not two or three in the afternoon, the sun comes out and um, I just like, ah, oh, I'm a different person. I just soak it up, you know, it's like, I love it. The other thing I really like about this campground is on the side that we go to, on the south side, uh, they have two two sides of the campground. They, the, the sites are a little bit more spread out. So you're not like right on top of each other. There's grass around it. Your, your site uh, place that you back your trailer into is pretty level, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, we're right near the playground so we get to hear children which sometimes is really cool and sometimes is really challenging but usually they quiet down by by 10 p.m. Uh, but uh, really enjoy this campground and I enjoy seaside uh, so yeah I'm just I'm glad we came well we made it to seaside on Saturday so we decided on Sunday to go to church we had been here before three years ago we had been here for a couple of Sundays, so we knew there were two churches close by that we liked, so we picked one of them and went to it, and it was great. They had just finished their VBS, and they had the stage all decorated like Arizona. <laughs> it was great, and they just had the worship leader with his guitar and one vocalist. Their band was off for the weekend, so that was great. The music wasn't loud. 
and a good message. Today's Monday, and we decided today to go down to the beach. And we were going to take something to eat down there and something hot to drink and go this morning. But it was still too cloudy. The sun didn't come out until 2 or 2.30, so we waited and decided not to go clear down to the beach and get in the sand and all that. Just to go down and walk along the promenade, which we had done before riding bikes, but this time we decided to just walk. And it was busy. I mean, here it is a Monday. you think it wouldn't be very busy. People would be coming in on the weekend, but it was pretty busy. And it was windy. It seems like it's always windier at the beach. But it was pretty strong. And when you're with the wind walking one way, it was fine. But then when you were against the wind, it was pretty cold. <laughs> and Carol's hat she kept having trouble it was about to fly off so she decided to just take it off but she looked so cute in it I mean oh love that but we had just a fun time walking down there and looking around we were looking around maybe we could get some gelato but we couldn't find any besides it was too cold so we just walked down there and came on back it was just fun it was just a fun outing just to go to the beach and it was nice and sunny so out in the sun it was great just cool and then once we got away from the beach the, the wind went down and it, it warmed up <laughs> so that was a fun little outing that we had today I was talking with Carol the other day and I asked her what's your favorite part of camping and she thought for a second and she said the people we have been able to be with some people that we normally can't see because they're not local to where we live. But when we travel near them, we can stop and see them. Family, friends, even new people that we meet along the way. And I agree with her that it's the people that are the best part of our camping trip. When we were at Long Beach, I was at the clubhouse uploading a YouTube video for this mini documentary because they've got Wi-Fi in there. And so sometimes people go into the clubhouse for their Wi-Fi <laughs> because that's where they can get good connectivity. And this couple came in and they sat down and I was just waiting for my video to upload. So I was chatting with them and got to talking where are you from where are you going turns out they were from canada they had just retired and they were so nice and so i asked them where they were headed next and they said well we're going to seaside really so are we when are you going to seaside saturday so are we so the first thing we did when we got to seaside is after we got set up is carol and i went on a walk to find them. They were over on the left side, we were on the right side. We walked over there until we found them. And they were sitting outside and we just stopped by for a chat. And it was really great. And then another day, a day or two later, they came over and found us and we just had a great time. So we've got some new friends from Canada, eh? Rob and Aaron, and it's the people that are the best part of the trip. But we do do other things. We were here in Seaside four years ago, and we did a couple of activities that we didn't do this time because we had already done them. I didn't make a mini documentary of our trip, but I did do videos of some of the events during that trip and at Seaside I made videos of those two events you can check them out one was a biplane ride the other one was a zip line tour I'll put links in the description of those events that we did four years ago I think you'll enjoy them 
But thanks for watching. Keep following us as we continue our summer 2022 camping trip.